Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 4th, 5th, and 6th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, if this is the first time you've been on my channel, or if you want to just cross-watch um, for your other signs, then just go down there to the timestamp, and it will bypass the introduction. This introduction is going to be on all the videos, okay? Sorry I'm a little bit late, still trying to fight whatever this is. Under, I you know, went to the doctor, understand it's seasonal allergies, and it's just uh, until we get that really good frost, there's, I'm going to just have some ups and downs with it. So thank you all for your concern. Thank you all for your wonderful, wonderful comments. Okay, so now let's go on and talk about the cards I'm going to be using. You know, I'm going to be using my Bradley Valentine Angel Tarot cards and then my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards for the main reading. And then I will use my Grant and Doreen Virtue Angels of Abundance. And I will also use my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, for this, the introduction, I'm going to use my traditional weight rider and my Colette Baron read the Good Tarot. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. So we do have a very interesting time coming up with the full moon. The full moon will be on the, what is that going to be? It is going to be on the 8th. Interesting energy with that. And we'll talk more about it Friday. Um, but on the 5th of November, we have Venus, which is 17 degrees in Scorpio, opposing Uranus, which is retrograde, but 17 degrees at Taurus. Now, Venus is all about relationships. Uh, Scorpio, you know, it can be very kind, very loving. It can be very pointed um, energies regarding relationships. Scorpio, I look at Scorpio as the... Um, the secret discoverer or the secret detective wants to look and see what the reality of the of the stuff is. Now, Scorpios can keep a lot of secrets themselves. So not saying that they're, you know, that this is totally an honest, um, you know, time. However, Scorpio does not like secrets in their own world. So we have Venus with Scorpio, relationships, secrets unraveling or, un, un, or being un being discovered but then we have uranus which is the planet of expect the unexpected it's retrograde so there's a little bit more instability with that and it's in taurus it's been in taurus for what since 2018 right taurus is about home work job career very stable energy so we have instability in taurus we have you know secrets being um, discovered regarding relationships it's, it feels like on the 5th is going to be a very intense energy and, you know, not sure what we're going to discover, what we're going to see, but it's kind of like um, on the home front, secrets revealed, not necessarily what we want to hear or see. We'd rather, it's like one of those times I'd rather not know what I know now. So um, interesting, interesting times. And then we'll go into the 8th. Um, and then the 8th has, with that full moon, lunar, total lunar eclipse, okay? And then there's all of this stuff. Some, some, of the, some of the planetary energies are in alignment or trine or, you know, positive, but there's a lot that's squared and that's also opposing. So let's see what we've got going on. So we've got some very intense, intense energies starting, I would say, more around that 4th, 5th of the month, and I would say, again, leading into like the 10th, 11th of the month. Interesting times. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. One card has fallen out, and here we are here. I hope I don't sniffle during our reading. Here we go. First card is the Page of Cups. So what is this? What is this I see? So pages, all the, all the um, court cards have dual energies. Pages, uh, um, underlying energy is our earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Earth, you know, money, job, career type of energy, our home energy. Now the queen, I will just go through it now, the queen's underlying energy, I'm sorry, the knight's underlying energy is fire. 
Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Passionate, burning, determined, fire energy. The queen's underlying energy is water. Water, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Fluid, emotional, romantic to some extent, but very, very, you know, putting your heart into it, whether it be right or wrong. And then we have the king's underlying energy, which is air, which is our um, Aquarius, our Gemini, and our Libra. So we do have a lot of things going on. Oh, well, air is basically thinking things through, making some plans, very linear thinking. Um, it's also hearing news. Okay, so we have some interesting energy um, where, you know, score, um, Aquarius, you know, my Saturn in Aquarius, Mars is now retrograde in Gemini. We have, I think we have four or five planets in the water energies between Scorpio and Pisces. So we've got some, you know, but then we have our, our um, Earth energies. We have Capricorn, which is Pluto. So we've got some strong stuff going on. The only energy we really don't have at play right now is our fire energy. So we're not quite balanced out that way. Um, the... Water energy planets, or the planets that I was telling you about, water energy, that's going to make us a little bit more emotional also. So now we come to the Page of Cups. So, Earth energy, underlying. Uh, water energy, emotional. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, emotional, fluid. And I always look at this, and it's kind you know, pages are very enthusiastic. They want to jump right in. But I just had this, the first thing I said was, and what do we have here? This is quizzical. This is different. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. Not quite sure. Do I throw you back? Do I keep you? Why are you even here for me? Because, you know, he's looking at his fish. You know, this fish has, you know, has come to him. The fish is also, like, looking at him, like, and what do we have here? So kind of feeling a little bit out of place, kind of feeling a little bit odd. You know, I'm not quite sure what, what we're doing with this just yet. Um, again, I'm, I'm speaking for the card, and now next time could give me a totally different reading. But I just feel, and what are we doing now? Where are we going with this now? So there is something new, something, this, this traditionally is a new um, romantic energy, a ro new romantic experience about to, uh, you know, unfold for us. I'm kind of getting a very quizzical energy here, like I'm not quite sure where or what I'm even supposed to be doing. So I feel it's more of an energy that's just kind of saying, again, what are we doing? What is this all about? So let's see what we've got here. The hanged man. The hanged man, this is reversed, and remember reversed energies are stronger. So this is a 12. This is a major arcana card. 12, you know, you think of it as a 1, new beginning, 10, transition. You know, plus 2 is our choices, decisions. Um, add it together, it becomes a 3. Numbers are important. 3 is uh, creativity, celebration. It's also the power of 3. This is the hanged man. This is looking at things a little bit differently. So it's kind of like, you know, I just feel this very quizzical energy coming from this page of cups. Not quite sure where I, what I'm supposed to be doing, where I'm supposed to be going. And then the hanged man says, wait a minute, you're not looking at it the right way. You need to look at things differently in order for this to move forward or in order for, for it to at least have, an, have a semblance of making sense. So something's going on this weekend. And again, you know, that Venus in Scorpio, you know, connects with this for me too. It's like, what are we supposed to be doing? Where are we supposed to be going with all of this? You need to look at things differently. Um, it could be, you know, the one thing I know about the um, hanged man is even though he's hanging there by his one foot, and, you know, he's not necessarily in pain, nor is he, well, you know, he does not look like he's in pain, nor does he look like he's having a very hard time sustaining this pose. So whatever's going on for this weekend, again, with the relationships, with the, um, you know, the secrets being discovered, things like that, we have to look at things differently. And it may, it, it may not necessarily make sense. The hangman says not everything makes sense. Just look at it differently and maybe the answers will come. Okay, next card here. Well, this is lovely. So here we have a 21. So we have a two, two we have a we have a two plus a one, and we've talked what twos and ones are all about. The world means things come back to you know, things what goes around comes around. Things come to full circle. 
things are being um, brought to another level, to another place, but it's also being brought to a better level, a better place. So the world, the world energy does have a lot of balance to it, does have a lot of um, completion to it. So whatever this is going on has a completing energy to it. Things are being, things are coming around, not necessarily full circle. It's, you know, that would be more your wheel of fortune or, well, you know, this does have kind of a full circle, but it doesn't always come back to the same spot, okay? But the world does bring about a good job, does bring about possibilities, opening, opening, you know, you've done what you needed to do, now it's time to wait and to rest and to get ready for your next chapter. So that's quite lovely. That's quite lovely. Again, the Page of Cups, quizzical, quizzical. And what do we do now? What do we do now? The Hanged Man, look at things differently. Things come around, things are coming around full circle. And I, you know, in many ways, the world does bring about answers too. So let's see what we've got going here. <coughs> the uh, Colette Baron Reed, the Good Tarot. What do you have for us? What do you have for us? Okay, here we go. The Queen of Water. So remember I told you the Queen's underlying energy is water, and this is water, water. So there's a lot of water energy right now. And like I told you, I think there's like four or five planets that are either in Pisces, Scorpio, or they're about to go in it. It's it, The balance has shifted. It's more of an emotional energy. There's more of a, you know, feeling very deeply energy. But, but the queen of water, she is royalty. She stands in her royalty. She feels very, very deeply. She loves very deeply. So this in itself does, whatever's going on is being done because of a caring energy. It's very caring whatever's going on. It may not necessarily be easy or you might not necessarily understand what's going on. We may not understand what's going on, but it's being done because it's very caring, very loving energy here too. So I guess that thing, you know, that Venus in Scorpio, like I said, it's opposing Uranus in Taurus. It's shaking things up a lot in our home, in our home front. Um, in our security, it's shaken things up, but it's being shaken, it's being shook for a good reason. So the queen of water, 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 um, romantic, um, emotional, very loving energy. Again, um, not necessarily, we might not understand it per se, but the world does come out to say, good job, things are, things are coming or things are going where they need to be going. Okay. Anyway, okay, we made, we made that short, but I just want to be able to get my readings done and you know, get them out to you. So please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Click on the bell down there for notifications. You really help me out by doing that. But why don't we get started with our readings? And hello, my Leos, and how are you doing? Well, Uranus has been our, I don't know, it's been almost like our Achilles heel in many ways. Um, it's been in our work. So not to say that there hasn't been some successes. There has. And then there's been some, let's let's take that rug down. Um, or, you know, let's pull the rug from underneath our feet. So that's been there too. And now we've got some really strong stuff coming up to that full moon. And Uranus is doing some opposing and some conjoining and it's just doing a dance all around it. So remember, use it. Use the energies. It might be unexpected, um, but it can be a wonderful unexpected too. Anyway, let's see what we've got. I, I am getting kind of that this could be one of those turning points again. So is it the turning point? Probably not, but is it a turning point? Yes, this is, I think this is a turning point for Leos and their jobs and their careers, possibly also their money. So let's see what we've got here for my Leos. Okay, first two are reversed. First card is, ooh, the queen of air. So the queen, be regal. Think things through. Do not, you know, do not get so involved 
or so emotionally involved that you let your heart lead. So the queen of air, queen's underlying energy is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a lot of, a lot of water energy right now, almost to the point that you, you know, we're swimming in it. But this is air energy. This is our Aquarius, our, our Libra, and our Gemini. And that Mars in Gemini, well, you know, that's a fighting energy. That's a fighting energy. So queen of air, brings herself above her emotions. Doesn't mean that she doesn't do the right thing, doesn't mean that she doesn't care, but she is, you know, she is thinking more than she is feeling. She's very objective about what she needs to do, and some people might think that she's a little bit on the cold side, but really what she's doing, you know, there is more right in her energies than there is this caring. Sometimes we compromise ourselves by letting our heart, um, you know, do the talking. Okay, sometimes we need to do that. We do need to let our hearts talk. But this is this is really our actions. This is, you know, we need to do, we need to think things through. Not every, it's not necessarily going to be a popular time, but it's the right thing to do. And, you know, Pete, there's some really stark, I feel like they're, like my Leos, there's going to be some really strong, very clear, very concise words to be said this weekend. So, you may want to, knowing that, you may want to temper maybe a little bit because if you still, if you're saying these to people you work with or have to live with, you may need to look beyond what this energy is to, okay, I'm going to be working with these people. I'm going to be living with these people. Maybe I don't want to, you know, what is it? You know, cut my nose off to spite my face. Anyway. Independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. Objective. Okay, sorry. Objective. And now the, now the sneezing begins. Objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. So you do. That is one thing Leos are able to do. They can see the humor in a situation. It doesn't mean, though, that you need to be laughing out loud. Anyway, let's go. Next card is the king of water. So the king of water has interesting energy too, because just as this is air water, this is water air. So the water is on top. So this is where where this one is really thinking things through. Feels deeply, but thinking things through. This is one that, uh, you know, is feeling extremely, you know, is feeling more than what he's necessarily thinking. So just what I said about this one, this is almost an opposite of that. This is caring about the people. This is caring about what they think. This is, you know, not wanting to hurt people. But at the same time, this is going after what you know is true. This is following your heart. This is trusting, you know, trusting in a higher power, trusting in something more than yourself also. So the king of water has gone up and down in the emotional roller coaster. And even though that king of, you know, because the underlying energy is that air, has thought things through, the emotions rule with this one. So we're in a little bit of a quandary here. One is, you know, that the brain is, the brain needs to rule the emotions. And yet at the same time, the emotions need to rule the brain. So I'm not quite sure what this is about, if this is something to balance it out, if this is something that we just have to make sure that we keep that, uh, you know, that equilibrium with this. But the king of water does have good output, does have good energy. Actually, the king of water is uh, emotionally very mature and very stable too. So not quite sure where we're at because just what I told you about this It flips with the king of water. Okay. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. So, so is this about maintaining that balance? Is this saying when we start to be, when we start to be too objective and too cold that we have to rein in? Is this about creating a balance between our emotions and our thoughts? Yes. Yes, it is. But also too, remember when I was over here, I was saying that if you're, you know, if you're speaking very bluntly to people you're going to have to live with or work with, 
you may want to watch what you're saying because you're going to have to, like I said, this is, there could be longer term effects because of what is said or done this weekend. Okay, next card. Now we have the Queen of Water. So this is all emotional energy, total emotional energy, total like, oh my gosh, the Queen of Water, 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 uh, loving, kind. Um, sometimes the Queen of Water can be a little bit um, micromanaging, can be a little bit, um, you know, like holding everybody, you know, like I do. In order for me to keep you safe, I'm locking you in the house. So, you know, so she tends to be a little overboard with her emotions. She tends to be a little, um, just a little clingy. So, you know, so it might be something you need to watch. And maybe that's the whole thing about this. You need to keep that balance. You need to keep that balance. You may be tending to wanting to, you know, make sure everybody's fine. Everybody, you know, okay, no. It's like, you know, giving your keys, your car keys to your 16-year-old. And, you're, you know, and you're just like, no, I'll go with you. No, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, let go, let God and just, you know, just, have some faith and have some trust, but the queen of water would probably get in the car with the 16 year old too. So it's interesting with this, there is a very, there's a very strong, um, you know, there's, this is the balance, thoughts, heart, but this is all heart. This is all emotional energy. So it might be hard for you to see the, you know, to be objective. It might be hard for you to see, you know, to see clearly, it feels very, this is all very emotional energy this weekend. Anyway, so tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. Now, the other thing about the Queen of Water, and when they talk about in, intuition, the Queen of Water is very intuitive. All the water energy is very spiritual and intuitive. So, you know, you, you've, you've, all you've got is air and water here, air and water. And it's more, like I said, with, you know, where we're at with these planets, we're, we have more planets, four or five, in water energy right now. So there's an emotional energy going on. You may find yourself, you know, saying, okay, I know logically that this is what I need to do, but I just can't do it that way because it might hurt a lot of people. So it could be if you're a boss. And, you know, you're told to, um, you know, maybe maybe trim your staff a little bit. Logically, you know it has to be done, but it hurts like heck. It hurts like heck. So, not sure where you're at with this. But these are the, these are the royal energies. So, the royal energy steps above and sees things from a higher level. Not sure where we're going with any of this, my Leos, but we will see. Let's see, John Holland. Can you clarify this for my Leos? Here we go. This is reversed. Okay, this is reversed. This is a four leadership stability organization. This is the four of swords. This is the four of air. So we actually do have some balance now. So this is both, you know, air, water, water, air, water, water. And now we have air. So maybe we're still a little heavy on the water side, side a little heavy on the, um, you know, the emotional, spiritual side here too. So there is a lot of spiritual energy going on. And this is going to tell you to rest and rejuvenate. Part of this is also stepping away from the drama, stepping away from others, re renewing your own strengths, renewing your health, renewing, um, you know, renewing, just your energies in itself. Sometimes the four of air is about, um, you know, maybe taking, taking a vacation, but it is about taking time to take care of yourself. So interesting stuff here. Not sure where we're going with all of this water energy, but does feel like it's going to be an emotionally charged weekend. Um, but, 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 this is royalty, so, and again, my Leos, the kings, you're not necessarily going to show what you're feeling. So let's see. But step away. Step away and take care of yourself a little bit more. Okay? Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Oops. Angels of abundance. What do we have for my Leos? What do we have for our Leos here? 
What do you want to tell our Leos? So, four. Four is our number. Queen, king, queen, and four. Here we go. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. I told you, I, this, there is, there's a turning point. There's a turning point energy around for this weekend. I'm not quite sure how this is all playing out, except, like I said, there is a balance to be had between the emotions and the um, and your thoughts. And but this this has a lot of that emotion in it too. But stepping back, rest, rejuvenate. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. Let's see if I can read this. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are are lifted yeah are lifted away you will now experience progress in forward motions momentum with your with your projects stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. I'm trying to read. It's just very, I, like I said, the medication I'm on, I'm like, what does that say? So, all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Well, the water energy is a spiritual connection. So there could be something. So while you're, you're thinking things through very objectively, the water energy is spiritual, is very, very spiritual. So, you know, meditate, you know, connect. But like I said, I felt like there was a turning point, one of those turning points in our lives. So, okay, crystal or energy, this is reversed. Jet absorbs negativity, grounding, financial balance, healing, grief. So my Leos, yes, we have all that Uranus stuff going on. So what you know, even with that going on, you know, we may be feeling the emotional shifts with this. We still need to we still need to try to stay very clear headed. Um, even with all this emotional energy just roaming and throwing itself all around us. But I do love that there's talking about the obstacles and blocks are lifted. And I do love that, you know, we're at, we're at a, another turning point. So, my Leos, please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Leos, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.